New at 11, how a new law could save you money when it comes to your debit card. Plus, why some local people are joining together to help a young boy battling cancer. 6 News is next. This is WLNS-TV Lansing. Now, from your news leader, this is 6 News at 11. New government rules could save you some big money. Beginning Thursday, July 1st, all banks must give their customers the choice to opt in or opt out of some overdraft fees. The law applies to debit and ATM card users. Brittany Gray joins us now to break it all down. And it's tough to find out your $4 latte really cost you $39 because you didn't have the cash to cover it. Well, starting this Thursday, you can choose to no longer get hit with those overdraft fees. The catch, you can't spend what you don't have. Your transaction will be rejected, but you have a choice. You can opt in. If you take this option, you still get hit with fees if you don't have the money to cover the charge. Many banks have a standard overdraft fee of $20 or $30 each time you overdraw your account. If you choose not to opt in, meaning you don't ask for overdraft protection, your purchase will be declined, so you won't get caught with the overdraft fees. It's an option one local expert recommends. I cannot tell you how many people that I've seen that have spent just a few dollars and ended up with hundreds of dollars of overdrafts. Let's say you're going to a pharmacy that's open late at night and your child's sick. You need the medicine. You're overdrafted on your card already they would then allow you to do that. And then they charge you the $35. In an emergency, it might be worthwhile, but I don't think so. Now the new rules go into effect July 1st for new customers and August 15th for existing accounts. But these rules do not cover checks or automatic bill payments like utilities or rent. And 